Hey, good morning, Grow Group leaders. I wanted to come to you and give you a word of encouragement this week. There's a ton of stuff in this lesson 15. We're getting back on the track of the normal Answers in Genesis lessons. We're on lesson 15, which primarily focuses on Genesis chapter 2. Now, we had some special lessons during Christmas and Thanksgiving. The most recent lesson that we came off of was the last day of six days of creation, where God created man, which was, you know, uh, one of his uh, trademark or final creation. Uh, we also talked at some point in that process about God really created his own temple because he was eventually going to come and dwell inside of us uh, as his true temple, uh, his dwelling place, his Holy Spirit would be in us. So God really created his own temple on day six. Now we're getting into um, uh, verse uh, chapter two of Genesis, which is going to be more detailed explanation of how God handled the creation of man more specifically. It'll talk a lot about God's uh, formation of Adam and his own likeness. He breathed his own breath into his lungs. So he's created special. So one of the topics that you could go down was the fact that he gave him dominion over a lot of things on earth and he actually gave him responsibility. Another topic that you could go off on would be that God, don't, he's the only animal that God created that had a choice, that had some freedom to decide, had some ability to take options and, and do things and think for himself and so forth, right? Uh, no other animal had that particular set of rules and or options to follow. Uh, we could go down that path and, and talk about how specifically God made man in that manner. The other deal is, is God made him male and female, made Adam a helper named Eve. And, and, and you know, there's a whole lot of confusion nowadays about male and female and all that fun stuff. We up to it include marriage and divorce and all that. So there's a path you could go down in this particular uh, lesson that involves that. Some other things is that God created man to set up the rest of Scripture. Without man made in God's image and to glorify God, all of the rest of Scripture is really useless. Like if he just made a bunch of cows and deer and fish, we wouldn't need any more Scripture, right? It is the fundamental jump-off point for everything we learn in Scripture. So it's such an important lesson to, to hone in on and understand what man's role is in God's overall plan. And then, of course, there's the obvious combats of evolution and things like that that if you're a Christian and you're a Bible believer, you, you, whether you believe that you know things evolve over time or not is irrelevant, but God created these things specifically for these reasons. Now, there's a bunch of topics in there. I suggest you only pick two or three that's near and dear to your heart and try to focus on them, even find other scriptures or other explanations or things in your class that you can discuss that absolutely hone in on those things even more and maybe not try to cover all of them because there's a lot of meat in this particular lesson. So I'm trying to encourage you guys. Hope you have a good uh, lesson this week. Let me know if you have any questions. Thanks.